lesson is on direct variation. Okay, your key vocabulary. Two quantities, x and y, show direct variation when y equals kx, where k is a number and k cannot equal zero. The number k is called the constant of proportionality. Other ways to say that x and y show direct variation are y varies directly with y, uh, y varies directly with x, and x and y are directly proportional. Okay, a direct variation is also called a proportional relationship, and we have already worked with this. So just remember, when x and y show variation on a graph, the graph will always go through the origin on a graph. It'll go through 0, 0, and the graph will always be a straight line. So we're going to look at this table, and we've done this before, and I'm going to show you different ways of doing things. Tell whether x and y show direct variation. Explain your reasoning. Now we've done this before where we can divide y divided by x, which is k, um, which is the unit rate, the slope, and the constant of proportionality, and we'll get into that. So you can divide y divided by x on every single one of these. Now if you see, if we do that now, you'll see that this is not a proportional relationship, which means x and y do not show direct variation. For example, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 2 divided by 3, well, that's not 1. And if you graph these points, you will see that it does not go through the origin. So, the line does not pass through the origin, so x and y do not show direct variation. Yes, it is a straight line, but it does not go to the origin. It is not a proportional relationship. It does not show direct variation. Okay, something you need to know for the next examples, and we will review. The equation y equals kx is the equation that you will see when x and y show direct variation. The equation represents a proportional relationship in which k is the constant of proportionality, the unit rate, and the slope. And we know how to find that constant of proportionality. Remember, you take y divided by x. Okay, here we're going to tell whether x and y show direct variation. Explain your reasoning. Well, this equation is kind of all scrambled up. So we want to solve for y to see if the equation will look like y is equal to kx. So we want to find what y is equal to. All right, we've got to get rid of that 1. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. Now, if you see that on the right, I have the subtract 1 over, and that's because you can't subtract 1 from 2x because they're not like terms. So this is how we're going to write it. The 1s will cancel out, leaving us with y is equal to 2x minus 1. Now, that does not look like y equals kx. Here's y equals 2 would be kx, but that minus 1 makes it where it does not show direct variation. It cannot be written as y equals kx, so x and y do not show direct variation. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this one. We want to solve for y to see if it'll look like y equals kx. So, we have to get rid of that one half. If you remember to get rid of one half, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. Do that to both sides. Opposites will cancel out, leaving us with y. And if we multiply our fractions here, if we can imaginary put that over 1, multiply our numerators, that would be 2x, and then 1 times 1 is just 1. So it'll be 2x. So the equation does look like y equals kx. So x and y do show direct variation. And remember that 2 is our k. It is our constant of proportionality. It is our slope. It is our unit rate in a proportional relationship. Okay, try these on your own. See what you can do.